Hi there. Somebody once asked me how I change my multiple colors on brushwork or elements and things like that. I was teaching them the trick of the F5 to fill everything on a layer for your elements or brushwork and the transparency. Um, so I thought I would show this to you. Now as you can see, my background is just a white. I have that here as a separate layer, but it is a PNG file all on one layer, just like you would receive in a digital art kit. And this happens to be something that I currently just made in one of my digital art kits with some word art on it. But I got to looking at it and I thought, oh, this would be so awesome to print out and put on canvas for my studio wall. I just absolutely loved it and I loved the word art in it. But it's not the colors that I would want. Well, I didn't save the file before I merged everything and had done a whole bunch of other things, so I couldn't even backtrack. So now I'm stuck with my original element, which is what, like, you would have. Well, this is so easy to replace these colors. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate my layer, just so I don't destroy the first one. In case I mess up, I can always go back. Now, because I'm going to go for a slate blue, um, a couple different tints and shades of it, I want to get the blue first that is in here so that only the green is left. So with my eyedropper tool, which is the eye, I would select probably in the medium range of this purplish blue that we have here right now. And that's going to come into my foreground color. And then what I'm going to do is click on my background color and I'm going to pick the color that I want to replace it with. Now that's the flowers I want to replace it with this blue right here. So now I'm going to go up to Image and Adjustments and I'm going to click Replace Color. Now as you can see here in the little preview with Selection, it has everything that it selected with that color. And I have mine up pretty high for the fuzziness because I want all of that color selected. If I wanted to make it a little bit blending of the two colors, say it was close to mine, so I could get a real artsy effect, I might take this down. And if you watch in the preview as you do your slider, you can see how much of it it is picking up. But I want it to pick up all of this purple color, and I want it replaced. So down in the bottom box where it says Replacement, you're going to click on this little color box, and it's going to bring your color picker up. And you could pick from here easily if you, if you had, knew what you wanted. But I have the exact color I wanted because I've used it for all the artwork in my studio and it's in my background and I'm just going to take my eyedropper and click that and by the preview I can see the, how it changed it and yes that's pretty darn close to the blue I want if I wanted a different color I could click this again and I could even go up in here in my swatches and pick a color from up here either way it doesn't matter which way you do it and actually I'm kind of liking that better, so I'm going to keep that one. And then I would click OK. Now I want to replace the green. So I'm going to click the green color here, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, Replace Color. I'm going to leave it up high again so it selects all of my green, and I'm going to click in here. Now I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet, so I'm going to try. That's pretty blue on blue. I want to take it lighter only because I know I'm putting this on a canvas that I'm going to want. And that's pretty good right there. So let's see. Now if it wasn't light enough for me, I could select that color again and go to Image, Adjustments, Replace Color, and I could take it up even lighter. But now it's going to lighten my whole thing, just so you're aware because those blues are really close. I can adjust that by taking the fuzziness down. And you see how that works. Now if it's not light enough still, I can lighten this up a little bit more by using this lightness slider here or my saturation if I wanted to take that up or down. And I think I'm going to take that down so it's an off-white slate blue color. And I like that a lot. That's going to match my room perfectly. I'm going to put this on an antique white canvas, and I'm going to use 
a freezer paper transfer method, which means I'm going to have to mirror this because I have writing in it. But that's a whole other tutorial, and I might do that on my blog soon here as I'm doing that. But I thought I'd show you how you could change multiple. And like I said, you could use any colors you want. Say you wanted a yellow flower, you could pick the blue very easily just by doing that. Same thing, image, adjustments, replace color. You're going to take your fuzziness up because you want to get all of that blue, and you could change that to a yellow. Pretty easy. So I hope you learned something new today. And don't ever be afraid to ask me a question. If I know the answer, I'm usually more than willing to share it. Have a great one.